There are a lot of secrets and lies in Hollywood, but unfortunately we never learn about them until a celebrity is brave enough to come out and expose the truth. And that's what we're going to be talking about today on Beyond the Screen. I'm Mackenzie, make sure to subscribe if you're new here and let's get into the top 10 celebrities who exposed the truth. Also check us out on social media. And at number 10 we have The Weeknd. The Weeknd has famously stood his ground against the Grammys after he received zero nominations for this year's Grammys, even though he had more commercial success than most other artists. He expressed his anger in a tweet after nominations were revealed where he wrote, quote, the Grammys remain corrupt. You owe me, my fans, and the industry transparency. He said in a statement later that he would be boycotting the Grammys for good, saying, quote, I will no longer allow my label to submit my music to the Grammys because of secret committees. And these committees are selected by the Recording Academy to review and select nominations before they're given out to the entire committee to vote for the winner. These committees are also able to add artists who receive zero nominations in all but the four primary categories. His outrage has caused tons of artists and fans to support him in boycotting boycotting the award show. Also, the show is being called the Scammies online rather than the Grammys. And at number 9, Britney Spears. Britney's been shedding light on her scary conservatorship situation since 2019. Britney's been under the care of a conservator since 2008, with her being unable to control many aspects of her life financially and even socially. Since 2019, her father Jamie has had sole control of the conservatorship. This is when she started fighting. And she's petitioned the courts to have someone else put on that conservatorship other than her father. A documentary called Framing Britney Spears that was recently released also highlighted on the constraints in Britney's life, as well as touching on how negative media coverage of her has caused her mental health to suffer. This has also caused the Free Britney movement to gain traction online. And I'm just so happy that her fans finally know the truth about her situation so we can support her when needed. And at number eight, Taylor Swift. Right as Calvin Harris and Taylor Swift had their messy split, a big secret was exposed. The demise of this couple is directly related to the success of the hit song, This Is What You Came For. The song became a huge hit when it was released by Calvin Harris in collaboration with Rihanna, but we later learned that Taylor actually wrote the song and brought it to Calvin, where they collaborated on it. But they decided not to release it together, but rather give Taylor credit through a pseudonym, Niels Soyberg. However, months later, after it became a hit, Calvin would ask if he would ever collaborate with Taylor. When he said no and didn't reveal that Taylor was a huge part in his current hit song, Taylor decided to expose that she co-wrote it. He then clapped back on Twitter, tweeting, quote, I figure if you're happy in your new relationship, you should focus on that, instead of trying to tear your ex-boyfriend down for something to do. I know you're off on tour and you need someone new to try and bury like Katie, etc, but I'm not that guy, sorry I won't allow it. And oh boy, did that just open up another whole separate can of worms, because that whole situation was very, very juicy and exposed a lot. And at number 7, Ronan Farrow. Ronan Farrow was the first person to blow the lid on the horrible actions of disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. Ronan even published a book, Catch and Kill, which details his reporting process in investigating Weinstein. Weinstein's treatment of women. After his book came out, many Hollywood actresses came forward with their stories against the producer. This led to him being convicted of multiple crimes related to harmful and indecent behavior towards women. Farrow's reporting not only exposed many secrets in Hollywood, but gained tons of support for the Me Too movement that became popularized around that time. He ended up winning a Pulitzer Prize for his reporting as well. And at number 6, Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle exposed secrets of the royal family in her tell-all interview with Oprah last month. In the two-hour long interview, she spoke of why her and Harry decided to leave the royal family and the treatment that she was subjected to. She said that the negative treatment by not only the family but the media pushed her mental health to the breaking point. And she even considered taking her own life at one point. She also said that when she went to the palace to get help, they did nothing, forcing her and Harry to leave. She also discussed negative differences between her children and other royal grandchildren, citing skin color as the reason for this. With her even mentioning at one point the question surrounding how dark Archie's skin would be when he was born was a point of conversation. Have a number five, Nikki DeJagger. YouTube star Nikki Tutorials was one of the first mainstream celebrities that had the guts to expose Ellen for how she treated people. Nikki went on the Ellen show after her coming out video went viral, but she exposed that the experience was not so great on a Dutch late night show. In that interview, when the host asked Nikki how her time on Ellen was, Nikki did not hold back, calling Ellen distant and cold, saying that Ellen didn't even come say hi to her before the show. Nikki said in another interview that Ellen also did not let her use the bathroom. Apparently, the Jonas Brothers were on the show that same same day, and Ellen didn't have enough for everyone. I do not believe that for one second. And honestly, after all that was exposed was when I believe Ellen's downfall really began. And at number four, Johnny Depp. After Amber Heard made allegations that her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, had been physical with her, Johnny has been doing everything in his power to clear his name. And a lot has been exposed that has made tons of Hollywood stars flock to support Johnny in his legal battle with Amber. After her allegations were made, a leaked phone call exposed that Amber had admitted to being physical with Johnny, as well plenty of 
friends and employees of Amber's came forward to say that she lied about having bruises on her face, such as her stylist and even her assistant. And over time, as more comes to light, it seems that Johnny has been the one telling the truth. And at number three, Prince. Another artist that has exposed the music industry was Prince. He made negative statements after he decided to release his newest album at that time, exclusively to Tidal. When speaking about why he sidestepped working with the label on his project, he said, quote, record contracts are just like, I'm gonna say the word, slave. I would tell any young artist, don't sign. He also stated that record labels turn artists into quote, indentured servitude, as artists have little control over how their music is used or how much money is made off of it. And these statements were not the first time that he called out the business. Back in 1993, while he was fighting with Warner Brothers over his contract, he frequently appeared on stage with the word written on his face. In at number two, Kanye West. Kanye West straight up hates the music business and has expressed frustration over contracts, as well as the fact that he does not own his own masters. Last year, he called the music industry and the NBA, quote, modern day ships while he was fighting to own his masters. He added on Twitter, quote, when you sign a music deal, you sign away your rights. Without the masters, you can't do anything with your own music. Someone else controls where it's played and when it's played. Artists have nothing except fame, touring, and merch. Adding later that his children will own his masters, not the children of record executives. Kanye has also created his own label, Good Music, where he pledges to have fair contracts for his artists. And finally, at number one, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt still have not settled their divorce and will be going to court soon to work out their child custody. Angelina is adamant about getting full custody of her children, and a new report from The Blast claims that Jolie is prepared to submit proof of domestic harm from Pitt in their marriage. These rumors first came to light in 2016 after the divorce when Pitt was being investigated by social services for allegedly being physical with one of their kids on a private jet. However, after the investigation, the claims were dropped. The documents also show that Angelina is planning on having her children testify as well. Depending on what is revealed during that case, a massive secret could be revealed about Pitt. But we'll have to wait until more information comes out before we start making any assumptions. So that's all for the list, guys. Let me know of anyone that I could put in a part two, because celebrities expose secrets all the time, but it's just so hard to remember them all, honestly. But before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from my video on mean actors. Kamani Reed said, I'm kind of glad I don't fall head over heels for any celebrity, even if it's an actor slash actress whose show or movie I like. Yeah, I think we all are guilty of this, forgetting that, you know, they're really actors. They're not playing who they really are. Sometimes they are their similarities, but you know, we need to remember that they're not who they portray on screen. And P. Monica said, well, we should take some reports of celebrity interactions with a grain of salt. There are plenty of people who go through terrible things and still show basic human respect to others. Yeah, I think there's definitely, you can get caught off guard when people are looking at you. Like when I or anyone else goes on the street, no one's really watching for us to slip up. But when you're a celebrity, people are watching for you to make a mistake. So there's an added extra pressure there, but I do agree we should always take it with a grain of salt. And Prep for it said, I was an extra on the dreaded movie, The Love Guru, yikes. Many crew members were remarked how Mike Myers was so nice on his earlier movie sets, but now he's a massive diva. I remember some woman who was a first time extra that just looked at him and smiled. He had her immediately fired. Whoa. I did not know it was that bad. Thank you so much for writing that story. That is really juicy. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all for the video today. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and wanna see some more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and I will catch you all in the next one.